Hi there. So last time we made a movie quote class um, with with a, uh, a quote, the movie that it came from, and then a last touch date time. And we uh, to test it, we gave you a main.py, right? That, that basically handled get and post requests uh, from it. And the result of, of where we're at was we had this, uh, this is a, actually a deployed app right here. Um, so Bautel movie quotes um, dot apps dot dot com. And within this, uh, we, we saw that we were able to add quotes uh, and, to, and to display them, right? So what we're going to do right now is shift gears, and we're going to go um, and focus on the API, all right? So uh, let's go back here into, uh, into our project, and we're going to start a new file, as we said before. Uh, so this is going to be a new PyDev module, and we're going to call it, uh, not the package, but the name of it is going to be movie underscore quotes underscore API, and that's going to be dot pi, right? And we'll go ahead and click finish here. Empty is fine. I'll give you a minute to customize your name however you like it. And then we'll go ahead and, and we'll start filling this guy out. So some imports that we're going to need. Uh, let's start off by Im importing endpoints itself. We know we'll need that. Uh, we're also going to need uh, our class is going to um, override uh, or extend the the remote service class that's in proto RPC. So let's go ahead and um, import proto RPC. Uh, and then we're going to need a couple other things. So from our models uh, .py class, we're going to want to um, uh, import, oops, put that in for us, uh, movie quote itself. And then we're also going to turn out to, to need to import main, right? So we'll get our imports all set up. And we're going to want to define ourselves another class here. So this class is going to be movie quotes API. And as we said, that that is going to be um, a subclass of proto RPC dot remote dot service. Okay. All right. And this right here is going to be uh, API for the CRUD uh, methods. Okay. All right. Uh, nice. Um, Let's do one other thing while we're here, is we want to define um, sort of the the app that's going to be run here, and this is this is kind of boilerplate. So end endpoints. Uh, let's see. Dot API. Oops. Go back to it here. API server, and then we have to give it API services. So the first thing is going to be a list that has the name of these classes. So we only have one class. So it's going to be movie quotes API. And then we have to tell whether we want it to be restricted. Uh, so let's type in here restricted equals false, right? And this is essentially whether um, whether there's a, any authentication or anything like that going on. Uh, let me capitalize the F on false. And we should be good to go. All right, I'm going to put in a pass in here just so that there's something for the body. All right, uh, so what we're going to find is that in this class and in all its methods, we're going to have to decorate um, the class and the methods with um, with some annotations, right? Uh, and what that's going to do is it's going to allow the endpoints uh, library to generate uh, client code more easily. So we need to give it some more information. Um, so the way that we're going to do that is annotations start with an at symbol. Uh, so we're going to say um, at endpoints dot API, okay? And then you'll see that it has a whole bunch of default things. So the easiest thing I found is is hit Control Space. And it's going to stub in way more things that you're going to need. We're going to keep the defaults actually for most of them. Uh, but for the first few, um, we're going to give uh, we're going to give values to some of these things. So the name we're just going to call movie quotes, all one word, uh, lowercase. Okay. The version let's set that equal to to just v1 for version one. Our description um, we can just say something like you know uh, movie quotes API. And it looks like it's put put in an extra. Um, an extra quote here. Let me go ahead and fix that up. Uh, and our host name, as we know, the host name is, is going to be when, when we deploy this thing, where is it going to? So if you have it um, up running in yours, you can go ahead and, and grab that. It's, it's probably a username uh, at moviequotes at appspot.com. So let's go ahead and make a string for that guy as, as well. Uh, all right, looks good. Um, and let's see, let me fix the quotes in here. There we go. Uh, don't need the, the backslash. And everything else on here, audiences, scopes, have to do with authentication, which we'll eventually get to, but not in this app. So everything else after this, 
I'm just going to take the defaults, and which means I don't need them here. Okay. Uh, so that's how I've decorated my um, my my uh, my class. Uh, the methods in here, okay. Um, so the 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 methods uh, will be uh, either um, so essentially what we would call sort of standard methods or query methods, all right. Um, and it depends whether you're writing a method that return um, return a, a a single object um, or Query methods are going to be ones that return a collection um, of objects. All right. uh, we're good. So that's that's how we're set up here. So let's go ahead and start defining some methods. So in, in this video, we're gonna we're gonna just take care of the insert method. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and do that. So define, and I'm gonna call this guy here movie uh, movie quote, I believe um, underscore insert. Okay, should be should be fine. Uh, so movie quote insert. And we're going to need one parameter here other than, than the implicit self uh, that we always get in Python. And that's going to be a, a request, right? That's going to be passed in. So if, if somebody says, hey, I want to insert something, and here's the, the request that they're sending over, over HTTP, uh, then how is it going to be handled? Um, it's almost as simple. Now, you don't have to type this, but it's almost as simple as saying, take that request. Since you know one of the things about about endpoints in, in Proto Data Store is that it's converting these requests into model objects, you could almost say request dot put in the data store, and then just because this is this is um, going to be one of these these methods here, sort of standard method, um, just return the request because there's it makes sense if you're going to return one one thing, you might as well just return what was passed in. Uh, it's not quite that simple because these requests that come in are actually not going to have the parent key set. So that's actually the only thing that we need to do is we need to we need to set the parent key on it, um, and the way that we're going to do that is actually one way uh, is to construct a new movie quote here. So um, I'm going to say move, uh, my quote is equal to movie quote, and then we're going to set the parent equal to, and you remember the the parent key we had defined back over in main. Okay, so this has a parent key here. Uh, so we're going to say that the parent is equal to main dot parent key. And then the other things we're just going to copy over right from the request. Uh, so the quote that's in here uh, is just going to be, um, not quotes, uh, the quote is going to be request dot quote. And then the movie that it came from is just going to be request dot movie. All right. Um, so just like that. All right. And those are our arguments for the, for the constructor. Uh, all that I'll do then is instead of using the request, I'll just use my quote, right? So I'm um, just going to go ahead and, and, and type this in here. So I will have my quote. Go ahead and put that in the data store, right? Save it off, and then return my quote. Three lines of code. Um, that's all that we're doing with the insert. Uh, now, one thing is that we we need to decorate this this method as well. Uh, so we we said this is going to be just a standard method. So the way that we do it is uh, you always give the name of the class um, from the model. So movie quote dot method. And you'll see that it has some parameters here. Uh, we're actually not going to need any of these for an insert, right? So the sort of these request fields and response fields and user required. Um, user required has to do with authentication. Again, so we certainly don't need that. Uh, the other ones we will use um, in some of the later methods, but not, not for insert. What we do need is we need to override uh, some things that, that were, were given, I believe, by the grandparent class, uh, the endpoints API. Uh, so what we're going to do is just come up with some, some names here. So the, the name is just going to be movie quote dot insert. Uh, the dot, it turns out to be meaningful when it generates code. Um, and it, you know, at least I, I know on Android, it's going to do something where it creates inner classes uh, in the generated code. So um, anyway, so that's that there. Uh, we're also going to set the path, and the path is going to be. I'm going to use the same same standard here, movie quote. Only I'll use a slash for this, and this is just you know sort of sort of the the path within the URL that it's going to use. We usually use different paths for insert, delete, and and so on. Uh, and then on this guy, um, we're also going to need the HTTP method. All right, so HTTP underscore method equals. And for a movie quote method, um, let's see, I think that, that post is the default anyway, but we'll be explicit. Um, generally, when you do, um, when you do insertions, um, a post would be, would be acceptable. All right. 
Um, that's all we need for that guy. So very, very little code that we've written um, that, that should handle insertion. Let's go ahead and test it. All right. So I'm going to go, um, I, want, I want this guy running in localhost. So I'm going to run this again. I'm going to run it just from, from Eclipse on my project. I will say run as part of Google App Run. run. Uh, and I'm realizing one more thing as I go to run this, that it's not, we haven't told it somehow to connect to this API. We need to make one more change to app.yaml. So I'll leave it running, doesn't so much matter. But I'm going to go back to app.yaml. And in here in my handlers, I'm going to need to add um, I'm going to need to add an, an endpoints handler. All right. So let's let's go ahead and do that. So just just a comment right here. Uh, so put in an endpoints handler. Uh, and this guy is going to be same format as the others. So URL. And this is going to be whenever they go into so um, so slash and then underscore a h slash um, s or lowercase s p i slash um, and then anything that is that is here in dot star. Okay, if that's the case, then what we want to do is we want to run the script that we just created. And so the script is going to be the name of the the, the Python module. So movie uh, quotes underscore API dot and then I believe we called it app here. So yes, right here. So we called it app. So we'll go back to the app.yaml and we'll put app here. Okay. All right, and let's go and run it. Uh, so I'm, I'm going here to localhost 8080. Uh, and then where I'm going to go is actually very similar to what I typed in there. It's going to be underscore ah slash API, not SPI. And I'm still not sure why that, why that is. Uh, I heard an explanation for it once. But uh, anyway, so API slash explorer. Right? And if I go here. Um, so it doesn't seem to be coming up. So let's see if I have any errors. Um, so I'm going to go here, and it says that I have no module called Movie Quote API, and it looks like it should be Movie Quotes API. So let's try this again, and reload the Explorer, and it comes up here with Movie Quotes uh, API. Um, worth mentioning. Um, so any lot, any errors that we get when we're running this on localhost are going to come up right in the Eclipse console here. Um, if we launched it via Eclipse, um, if we did launch it via App Engine, then errors would show up here in the logs. Okay, so um, just good to know. All right, uh, very good. So we let's let's go back to this guy. Um, so going back to my Explorer here, so I can test insertion now. Then it gives me access to the insertion, and I will click on that, and then I, I have an opportunity to fill in a request body. So these are all the things that, that I was exposing in my, um, in my uh, message field schema. Right? So um, all I care about right now is, is the quote in the movie. Right? So let's go ahead and add a quote. And I've lost track as far as what number we're on here. But quote 5 should be fine. And movie 5 should be fine. Let's go ahead and execute this. And what I'm most uh, happy about, and you know, in my testing and everything, is that the response came back okay. All right, so uh, let's take a look here. Some useful information. Um, so I have a, a, a post message here, and even within this, uh, even within this URL, right, we can see some of the things that we put. So here's here was my base URL, but then we had said that it was gonna, this is the movie quotes project um, at version one, and then the path for insertion was going to be movie quote insert. Uh, we see that it's that's JSON here, so JavaScript object notation, uh, sending the objects across, and then uh, we see that that what we were given here was was a quote in a movie. Okay, so that's that's the request that came in, uh, and what we did is we returned. If we go back to our code here, uh, we'll we'll remind ourselves that that we returned, um, you know, this new movie, movie quote that we made and then put into the data store. Okay, so this this my quote. Um, so when I put it in the data store, it assigns it an entity key, right? So here's the sort of unique ID for this object in the data store. I had assigned it a last touch date time um, at the time that it was inserted. And then there's my movie and, and my quote, right? So it seems to, to have worked successfully. Um, if I want to check this, what I can do is I can go back to just my sort of localhost 8080. And I can go ahead here and reload the page. And we see that we get uh, quote 5, 
movie five, right? So as far as we know right now, as far as I can tell, uh, it's worked successfully. So this lesson is done. We'll see you next time.